Hey, hi friends, uh, after a long time I am recording these sessions. Uh, there is one interesting topic I found and it is a general issue in uh, uh, most of the industrial applications. That is uh, memory leaks and uh, this memory leak leads to uh, the instability in the application. Yeah. Uh, most of the industrial projects are like uh, a large number of files and it will be divided into multiple modules, multiple services and it will be developed by multiple people and these days industry is recruiting the uh, freshers in large amounts so the inexperienced people will write the code and uh, it, it results in the unstable applications. Yeah, uh, we are all experienced people, okay, when the code is written by the freshers and it results in uh, crashes uh, everywhere and uh, the thing is actually sometimes uh, uh, we initialize the memory in one file and we will pass it to some other function and uh, which is in the other file and the crash happens there. So during that time it is very difficult to uh, debug the application because the memory is allocated in one file and it is crashing in the other files. So, due to these issues, uh, <coughs> uh, I have seen uh, so some teams are specially recruiting the people who makes the application stable and who has excellent debugging skills. So, I thought of posting this video, okay. So, consider this is the scenario where uh, the application is written into multiple files and the large team size. The people has written the code like anything and uh, uh, the application is finally unstable, okay. So, during this time, how to track it actually? I have an idea. Uh, okay uh, <coughs> what we can do is uh, mm, by overriding the malloc so if the application is running on a pc linux like laptops or servers or something like that we can run valgrind and uh, we can see valgrind will give a nice uh, report of the memory leaks and uh, buffer overflows in the runtime but consider we have an arm board with 50 mb of uh, uh, runtime memory uh, where uh, val uh, valgrind cannot run i tried this actually valgrind requires minimum of 90 mb uh, ram space and uh, if we are lucky it runs okay so in this case uh, what we can do is we can override the malloc uh, in the application Cur for example there will be some headers okay they will be commonly used across the application that there will be common he header okay uh, in that header, override the malloc by your own malloc and monitors the pointers which is allocated through your malloc and monitor, monitor the pointers which are freed through your malloc. So, you will have a runtime profile of your memory allocations and deallocations. De so, at any point of time, you will have information about all the memories allocated and frees at your runtime, at the runtime of your application. Okay. So, this one we can do by uh, by using a sing single linked list or a double double linked list, I have implemented by using a single linked list. Okay, with some support functions, it's very easy. Okay. Yeah, by using a simple linked list and sub some supporting functions, we can do a runtime profiling of our uh, uh, memory allocated and deallocated. Okay. So <coughs> I did this for one of the project for freshers as a tool. Uh, to detect the uh, runtime, I mean runtime memory leaks. So I thought of showing it to you. So this is the code that I had written. So we have list D. So here, uh, before that, I, I would like to show you the main function. Okay, this name is function dot c. Okay, see in function dot c, I am overriding the malloc by my malloc and free by my free and I am calling malloc and one free here okay and in each after each malloc I am printing the unfreed pointers it means it should go to the list of the pointers okay so if you see this okay so if you see this this is list.c I will open malloc.c okay my malloc.c so I have defined my malloc here and my free here 
and I'm allocating it through malloc. While allocating, I'm adding the pointer to the list. While deallocating, I'm re removing the pointer from the list. So these are the supporting functions for that. Okay, these are the add to list. This is a supporting function. It's a simple uh, single linked list function. And remove list for remove from list is the function which removes the pointer from the memory. And print free if and free pointers is a supporting function which prints the active pointers in the runtime. So the first thing is we have to overwrite the malloc by my malloc on my free. Okay. So I will compile this. This is C minus C. Yeah, I had made uh, this list dot C and uh, my malloc dot C as a library. Okay, I'll recompile this. Okay, I have a make file. I'll remove the existing binaries first. So now I will build. Okay. So there is some error in my make file, okay. Let me see this way. Okay. So library is built. It is compiled list.c and mymalloc.c. So if you see this, this is the library. And the sample application is funk okay the main is in funk so this is funk which has got main okay i have to build the main now I'll main. so the main is built actually so funk is there now i will run the funk okay as we know what we had in the funk is uh, few allocation and one d allocation so one allocation and then we are printing so then we are allocating again, then printing, then freeing it out. So <coughs> initially it will print one unfreed pointer. In the second time it will print two unfreed pointers. Then freed and uh, yeah, again it should print two unfreed pointers. Okay. You can see that. Okay, library is not available. So I have to export the library path. because this path is not the standard path where libraries are located ok now I will run again yeah it printed so this way we can track the runtime memory issue ok runtime memory usage of any application which is running we can add this header into any application and we can profile the application so runtime memory so one more thing we can do here is so in uh, list list is having the data okay in the list I'm I'm putting only the pointers okay but here we can have the size as well int size how much size for this node and also we can have character BT. BT is for batteries, okay. So this we can have uh, the batteries information, which is uh, which function has allocated this memory, okay. All this information we can put into this node. I will put this information and I will uh, come up with the next video session, okay. So as of now we are just printing what is allocated at the runtime and. <coughs> I mean, wh what are the active pointers in the runtime? We can have what is the actual pointer size and also which function has allocated. There is something called as backdoor system call. Okay. I'll show you. Yeah. Backtrace and backdoor symbols. These are system calls which will give the information about the backtrace, which function has called uh, this function tree. Okay. By using this, we will get we can get the backtrace information also. So easily we can find out which function has allocated the memory and uh, 
we can go go to the function directly and we can find the memory bug easily okay thank you friends